All right, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing time so far. Our next speaker is KV Deepu. He is the president and head CX of and operations at Bajaj Alliance and General Insurance. Please join me in welcoming Deepu to the virtual stage. Thank you so much, uh, Patrika. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, you know, good evening, uh, wherever you are. What I will do over the next few minutes is uh, basically take you through how AI has unleashed its power in the insurance industry. Just allow me a moment, please, to put up my presentation. Yeah, there we go. Let me give you a brief introduction to uh, the organization. Bajaj Alliance General Insurance is a joint venture between Bajaj Finser, which is a financial powerhouse in India, and Allianz, which is the world's number one insurance company. As a joint venture and a child of two proud parents, Bajaj Allianz General Insurance on its own is ranked number eight amongst the global top 100 digital insurers. We've been known for various industry first initiatives, uh, leveraging blockchain, for instance, in case of travel claim settlement for international travel, uh, be it even leveraging Internet of Things for launching products for customers, and of course, the usage of AI, be it health insurance or be it in motor insurance or be it across the entire customer life cycle, as you will see, you know, when we go through our presentation. While we do what we do, I think the real validation for us comes from our customers. When the regulator tracks carriers by grievances, uh, we are the player with the lowest grievance ratio in the industry. And independent third party market research on NPS shows that, you know, we have the highest scores in the market and by a significant distance over our competitors. We have also been recognized uh, globally for many of our uh, AI initiatives. We have won uh, quite a few awards uh, during the last 16 months, and uh, you will hear more details about them as I go through my presentation. So we are essentially talking about uh, trends in artificial intelligence. And uh, as we have seen, especially in the last 16 months when the pandemic has been thrust upon us, Every player, irrespective of the industry they are in, has been significantly investing in AI. And uh, the trend shows that the investments are only going to increase with the passage of time. Be it NLP, be it chatbots, be it risk management, you know, this is something you know, which is here to stay. Continuing with the trends, uh, a few things you know, which we have seen. Uh, for instance, voice search queries you know, have increased over a period of time. And similarly, experts expect you know that a lot of consumer interactions will be non-human over the next few years and if you look at the overall landscape uh, especially you know when you look at the fact that a lot of customers today access the internet using the mobile phone the expectation clearly is that 100 percent products and services should be available on the mobile phone also when it comes to leveraging ai the whole gamut is focusing on intelligent self-help and similarly, customers also are, are expecting, you know, that firms will reach out to them through alternate channels, be it through social media or through the plethora of platforms available today. Increasingly, we are also seeing, as we saw in the rise in voice-based queries, that people are also moving away from text to voice-based search as well as video. Not to be left behind, of course, you know, is our industry, which is the insurance industry. And the industry has been investing significantly in AI across a range of technologies, uh, whether it is deep learning, whether it is machine learning, whether it's video analytics or natural language processing. And the impact as we have seen, you know, is threefold, especially when it comes to human beings, AI has really unleashed the power to transform relationships. What happens is that, you know, human beings you know, are moving up the value chain and focusing more on work, which they do best. There is a born again focus on core human skills. Similarly, when it comes to process, I think across the board, firms are not just re-engineering processes, but they're actually reimagining entire business models. And this is helping them give an extremely good combination of man and machine to customers and everybody who's close to the process. Not of course, uh, to be left behind is the whole discussion around data. As the digital footprint of customers increases, increasingly firms are leveraging data. And with the greater availability of data, the scope for AI just increases manifold. What I wanted to do, given this theoretical underpinning and background in terms of trends, was to also walk you through how we have leveraged AI across the entire insurance value chain. 
starting with our core product, which is essentially issuance of policy. And once we issue policy, how do we service customers through the entire life cycle? And then of course, focus on the moment of truth in our industry, which is claims management. And how do we go beyond? How do we go about you know, meeting unstated needs? And I'll talk you through specific examples in terms of how we've leveraged AI. Let's talk about uh, health insurance. What happened when the uh, pandemic struck all of us? Everybody had to work from home and the entire servicing moved from the physical space to the digital space. Now, we had the responsibility of ensuring uninterrupted servicing. On the one hand, we had to issue health insurance policies to customers who wanted to avail of them. And on the other hand, we had to ensure that those customers who wanted to get hospitalized had to avail of the claims process. On the policy issuance process, what we did was, uh, be it the customer or be it the diagnostic center or be it any intermediary who was in between, we just ensured that we moved to an electronic process. The entire process was paperless. And although when it came to medical tests, since physical medical tests were not possible, we basically leveraged telemedicine to ensure that customers continue to get health insurance policies from us. So we leveraged AI across the entire landscape. And similarly, when it came to claims, uh, we ensured that not only was there was paperless processing in place, but with the availability of AI and IoT, we were able to ensure that customers' claims were serviced seamlessly. In fact, our uh, health insurance initiative, you know, driven by AI and IoT, came in for huge praise across the entire uh, planet. And in fact, uh, we even won the Global Salient Model Insurer Award last year in the face of stiff competition. There were nearly 112 nominations from more than 70 insurers and uh, you know we won the award so it just goes to show that with the right usage of ai across the entire landscape we can make a significant difference to our customers when uh, contact centers were shut down uh, what we did was you know we basically made available our entire range of digital tools for servicing from a customer point of view in fact our chatbot is ai driven and what it does is it of course you know services customers and in fact, the bot cannot answer a query uh, in case, you know, it's something which the bot is not trained to do. The bot then, you know, leverages, uh, you know, the help of a human being. And then the human being takes it through to completion. And then we maintain an inventory of such queries. And what we do over a period of time is, you know, we keep teaching the bot. So the bot's own percentage of first-time query resolution is on the increase throughout. And what we have also done is, uh, since we wanted to ensure that those customers who are very of touch want to do, you know, avail of voice-based servicing. We also integrated our AI-driven chatbot with Alexa and Google Assistant. So in case you had Alexa or Google Assistant at home, you could just ask Alexa, for example, you know, for a copy of, a, of the insurance policy, Alexa would speak to a bot and the policy would get delivered to your registered email ID. And the proof of the pudding, as they say, lies in the eating. Uh, we were able to move to more than 80% of servicing via our digital assets in a short span of time. And uh, we also won several awards uh, for this entire initiative. One thing which we have seen is while we do talk about AI is uh, also how do we ensure that, you know, we make our end customers feel more and more comfortable with AI. Now, which is where, you know, conversational AI comes in. How do we ensure that we really blend the science of AI with the art of customer centricity to make it customer centric AI? You know, customers, you know, start to feel increasingly comfortable with bots. So while doing this, uh, what we did, for instance, was, you know, we gave our customers the facility to ask our bots COVID-related queries. And they found it, you know, extremely simple. And also based on these conversations, since we have data and digital footprint available now, you know, it helps us in terms of revamping and fine-tuning our bots when it comes to future releases. So this is a way of not only leveraging AI, but also ensuring that customers get an almost human-like experience and they were increasing their comfort level with bots. Likewise, uh, you know, our philosophy has been that we need to go where the customer is, which means the platforms which customers leverage, we ensure that we are there. So what we did was, you know, we leveraged our AI-driven bot with various platforms. So customers can leverage WhatsApp. Many customers are comfortable with WhatsApp to basically get access to our AI-driven bot and then carry out their services. Similarly, on Signal, Telegram, Facebook, and in fact, even on Google Business Messenger. In fact, if a, if a customer were to walk to a branch and he basically, uh, you know, types in the branch address, the bot will pop up, you know, and then ask him saying that whether there is a real need to go to the branch and if, you know, it can help him, you know, satisfy, you know, his queries, you know, or fulfill his requirements digitally. 
So that is the extent to which you know AI has become conversational and granular, and it's really helping us you know raise customer centricity you know to levels you know which are completely unprecedented. The moment of truth, as we all know, is the uh, claims process. Why do you buy insurance? You buy insurance so that you can avail of the insurance company's service at the time that you are in trouble. And this is where you know we said we need to ensure that the pay payment process is extremely smooth. And that's where you know we've leveraged our AI-driven bots. So the bots help us in ensuring that you know the payment process becomes extremely smooth. And uh, our customers give, have given us rare feedback on this particular front, you know, saying that the moment the claim has been approved, the payment happens extremely quickly. And from our side, you know, we tell them, you know, that it's thanks to our bot. When we think of customers, we typically think of individual customers. Uh, what we also need to understand is corporate customers are also our customers. And uh, if you look at large corporates, you know, who have, you know, even with a minimal degree of attrition, you know, a large number of employees, you know, who are exiting and uh, entering the firm, you know, at any point in time, it becomes a challenge for them. Uh, how do they ensure that, you know, the insurance cover is given on a real time basis to a new employee? Similarly, if an employee leaves the firm, how do they ensure that, you know, the insurance cover, you know, is taken off the moment he leaves? Now, what happens in a lot of firms is, you know, since there is a large turnover of employees, there's a reconciliation process, you know, which happens with a defined periodicity. It could be weekly, it could be monthly. And sometimes, you know, they find that, you know, either new employees do not get cover, you know, for a month in case, you know, this reconciliation process happens on a monthly basis and employees who have exited, you know, can avail of free cover for a month. So what we did was uh, we basically deployed AI by which, you know, we ensured that we eliminated the entire process and all firms had to do was to basically just enter into simple data entry at their end. This eliminated the entire process and customers were just extremely happy with it. So by using uh, AI, you know, and a host of digital processes, we were able to ensure, you know, uh, real-time availability of, you know, cover for customers. And uh, our corporate customers were so happy that in fact, when this uh, initiative was put up at the Economic Times uh, innovation nomination process last year, from the initial list of 1250, this actually made it to the final list of 45. And it's actually become a competitive advantage for our sales team because they can go and sell this to customers and basically tell them that in case they avail of corporate health insurance cover from us, then they need not worry about cumbersome processes in terms of ensuring you know, real-time availability of cover to customers. That's the real beauty of AI. You know, It helps you take an edge over competition and it also helps you ensure that you're really there for your customers when they need you. Similarly, when it comes to uh, motor insurance, uh, the motor insurance is one of the largest lines of insurance for non-life carriers uh, globally. And uh, typically what would happen in case a customer were to unfortunately crash his car is that he would have to call up the insurance company. They would have to look for the nearest engineer or surveyor or inspector who would take his own sweet time to come to the site, assess the car, and then submit his report to the insurance company. And then the whole process would kick in. We said, why don't we just crunch this? So what we did is we basically leveraged AI and we leveraged a tool called uh, photogrammetry. So what happens here is customers now do not need to call up the firm to basically ask them to send surveyors or inspectors. All they need to do is to basically click photographs of the car and then upload them using the mobile app. It's just a two-step process for customers. And at our end, what happens is there is an AI engine which kicks in, which has basically been taught to look at images, you know, based on years of data that we have. So the engine will basically assess the extent of claim damage based on the images. And then we convey that to the customer. The customer gives his consent and the money up to a certain cap is transferred to the customer. So this whole process, which earlier would take days, now happens in 20 minutes. So that's really the power of AI, how we have leveraged AI to, not, to ramp up customer experience and then bring in a completely new way of doing things, you know, which didn't exist before. Similarly, uh, I spoke about the fact that, you know, we also went beyond. So during the pandemic, when we were listening to customers, you know, we realized, you know, that there were a lot of unstated needs of customers. For example, contact tracing. Uh, this was a need, you know, which came to the fore, especially during COVID-19. And what we did was uh, we came out in an extremely agile manner with a feature on our mobile app called Social Trackback. What Social Trackback does, you know, as the name appropriately suggests, is that it helps customers with contact tracing. So all they need to do in case they get affected or infected is to basically go to the uh, app and then see who are the people whom they've met 
and you know they can then inform them you know in case they get infected and similarly if somebody in their social circles gets infected then they can actually go back to their uh, mobile app and then actually verify you know whether they've been in contact with that person so this was uh, you know an unstated need of customers customers didn't come and tell us you know saying that we need a contact tracing feature but uh, you know we developed this and then you know we received uh, magnificent you know feedback from customers you know they said you've listened to us you've understood our needs you've been proactive and you know you've been able to help us you know during this time and this was a completely new feature and as we, and as you can see you know we leveraged ai completely you know in terms of making co a contact tracing feature available for all our customers similarly when uh, covid 19 happened uh, customers were you know very wary of uh, going to hospitals to get themselves tested because in the quest to get tested you could get infected so what we did was you know we enabled uh, an ai enabled bot or mobile app for self assessment and customers just loved it now sitting in the comfort of their home you know they could get themselves tested and uh, you know initially when we launched this feature the adoption was so high that we just realized you know that the real power of ai you know lies in terms of launching such features you know which customers don't expect at the moment you know you launch such features you know there is such a positive view from customers that adoption at scale you know happens almost immediately you know that's really the power of ai you know it's not just about you know moving from uh, man to machine but it's also about ensuring you know that you're bringing in you know hither to unparalleled services you know which really helps you you know raise the bar and ensure that you know customer service now operates on a completely different plane Thank you. That's uh, broadly what I had to share. As you could see, you know, we covered the entire gamut of, uh, you know, AI trends, and then we took you through, you know, real life uh, examples, you know, from the insurance industry. In case there are any queries, uh, you know, we'll be happy to, uh, you know, clarify them. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Deepu. That was amazing. And I know this virtual crowd is going wild with virtual applause. <laughs> that was amazing. And we appreciate you sharing with us today. Thank you so All much, right. uh, Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> thank you. For the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing exhibits. Thanks so much, and we'll see you around.